Not around these Whoa, ones. look at the size of that thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, May 10th. It's 4.57 a.m. We've got a special trip we're doing today. I'm heading up to the Albany, New York area. I'm gonna meet my buddy, Chris, and we are gonna go catch some giant striped bass. Uh, it's the spring of the year. The alewives uh, are coming up, the, uh, coming up the Hudson River from the ocean, and uh, the big stripers are following them up. You know, we used to um, be able to catch the herring for bait in Connecticut, but uh, quite a number of years ago, they uh, put a ban on that. But in the state of New York, we're allowed to do that. So we're gonna catch uh, live herring, and which is a lot of fun in and of itself, because you just use a big net and you scoop them up. Uh, and we're gonna live line uh, them for stripers. Now there's been some really big fish that have been caught up here uh, in the past uh, week or so. A lot of really big fish, 40, 45, even up to 50 pound fish. So I'm hoping today, that's our goal. We want to break, or at least touch, the 50 pound mark. And if we can uh, uh, get bigger than that, then that would be awesome. So this is going to be an episode that I don't think you're going to want to miss if you like striper fishing. You know, you're, you're a striper person, this is going to be the episode for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, please. It helps us out a lot. Like the video, leave some comments, share the video with your friends. I really appreciate it, and this is going to be an awesome first fishing trip for Next Drift for 2023. Hey, buddy. What's up? Good. What music was that? Molly Crew. Well, was it? it up. Nice. Jock jams. <laughs> so as you heard in the intro, I'm up in the Albany, New York area. Met up with my buddy Chris. And Chris, his brother Mike, and I go way back. We uh, used to compete in freshwater bass tournaments all over the country. And, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time together. And uh, Chris actually was, uh, when I first met him, he was uh, my co-angler. We were randomly paired together in a pro-am tournament up at Lake Champlain. And Chris and I have been best buddies ever since. We've had a lot of opportunity. You know, we've done some photo shoots and commercials for Bass Pro Shops and uh, tracker boats, nitro boats. And it's, it's, been, it's been awesome. Chris is a, a super sportsman. He loves to fish. He'll catch anything. And uh, we, we're just going to have a great day. So we're going to uh, go get some bait. And Chris has a really unique way of catching bait. I've never seen anything like this. So uh, let's take a look. This was uh, pretty impressive stuff. Probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. He throws out this like 10 inch long shad, shad looking swim bait, attracts the L wives in and then scoops them up with that. It's freaking unbelievable. Never seen anything like that. Get out of here. Look at this guy. It's like squatting bull over here. <laughs> One of 20. Wow. No kidding. Impressive. Staying really far off of it. Yeah. Really skittish right now. Got one. Got one. Should have two. <clears throat> that is cool. <clears throat> that is freaking cool. You tell people that and they're like, what? what? <laughs> I would have never believed you. <laughs> That's amazing. So we got our bait. We're allowed 10 herring per person. We're gonna head down river. We're gonna do two different styles of fishing today. First, we're gonna anchor up, set up three rods, uh, put them in the rod holders and just sit and wait. We're gonna be fishing in that 10 to 20 foot of water range. 
Uh, you know, the rig is, is very simple. It's a three-way rig. It's got a, about a three to four foot long leader with a circle hook and uh, about a two to three ounce weight. We'll cast them out and just sit back and relax. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice way of fishing. I don't get to do it too often. Later on in the day, we'll do more of the conventional drift fishing with the same type of rig on uh, conventional gear. So uh, once we set up here, we're going down to a spot that Chris has been fishing for the last week or so. He's caught a lot of fish here, and it didn't take us long at all before we got our first bite. Start putting all that wire in here, Jesus. You know, because you get interference, you know, I don't yeah. care what you do. Brian's boat like that. He's only got two graphs and he's got interference between the front, the trolling motor, yep. the front graphs, and the rear graphs. You should get the, the, the what do they call it? There you go. Oh, yeah. Pick it up and reel it in. Get the fuck out of here. How long is the fucking rod butt on this thing? He's on. He's on. You want to get that line? I'll see. Try to get the hole. Good. Nice to fuck you. They're all good, you know? They're all good. Nice. There seems any wood. I didn't take long. Nice 35 inch. Captain Chris Charters here. Yeah. Nice, buddy. Well, that was what? Five minutes? Five minutes. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice one. Oh boy, we'll take all those. Cool. Oh, he's fat as hell, huh? This one. Yeah, look at that. Fatty Magoo. That was out there for like 10 seconds. Not even. Wow. I think I hit it on the head. You might have. And the tide's not even moving yet. No. Uh oh, this one's gonna go off. That one's doing a lot of bobbing and winding. Yep. We need uh, Oh, he's going up. They never go up. He's going up river. <laughs> Little one. Nice one, Chris. Boy, they're stout, aren't they? They're chubby. That's the smallest one I've seen this year, for sure. They're chubby, though. And he inhaled it. Oh, yeah. Look 
There he is. Little one. Little guy. This is warm up. All right. See you later. So we did some anchor fishing for a while, and as the tide started moving, we decided to pack up, move down the river a little ways, and do some traditional drift fishing. And uh, so we had same same type of setup, three-way rig with a, a long leader and a circle hook with the LY on it. And uh, Chris hooked up right away with a really nice fish. Propping net out. <clears throat> Just get his head in there. I'll bear hog him. Oh my God. Okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh, still a good one. Good one. Nice one, dude. Holy chubster. Dude, that is a chubby. Chubby McChubster. Chubby McChubber. I got slammed. Bitches. Nice one, dude. Wow, that thing is fat. Nice, dude. Hold it up. Nice one. Fatty. Nice picture. Good one. And done. Nice. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I got that on camera, too. Yeah, she Ooh, got a good one. It's a smallmouth. Yeah. Oh, Just my. a smallmouth. My herring went BS. For a minute there, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get hung. Oh, I see. I'm in your nice line. Nice one, brother. Hey, bud. Yeah. Okay, bud. They're still here. Take no, those. No, you got it. It's yours. Do exist. <laughs> Did he slam it? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. She's got a good one. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's peel and drag. It's peel and drag. I'm well known for this. <laughs> well, no, 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 don't shake it. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Please don't shake it. Shake it. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> Dude, I think I need this thing. <laughs> Dude, give me something to cut this with. Thanks, pal. That's a big fish too. Alright, hold on. <clears throat> Dude, what? Oh, okay. don't move, don't move. Try to get some slack here. No, no. Yeah, we went through a just big ass fish. I'll get them. this. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you got this on camera, trial. Oh, yeah. This is all you. If I lose this fish, it's because of you. Oh, Drifting? my God. Dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. What did it do? Like, swim through all the fucking lines here? <laughs> the motor just back up there, go over that fucking I'm trying to get, I can't find where to cut it, you know? Cut the bridge. Is it? Right Wait, I got it. That oh, was, that was cool as shit. There was so many fish there. That was awesome. You just can't panic. And you don't put your fingers in between the loops. Yeah. There we go. All right, back to catching. Okay. We'll edit that part out. <laughs> oh, no, we won't. I'll make it look like you caught my line. Guy steals my fish. Another one! Striper! There's one, Chris. Oh my god! <laughs> Not a bad one. Oh my god! Not a bad one! <laughs> Dude, he slacked it. It was like, wonk, 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 slack. Awesomeness. You want to walk back that way a little bit? Yeah. 
Oh, we still got some more left. Yay! Come on, baby. Hate wearing them out, you know. Strong. He is, dude. Oh, did you see that other one with him? There was another fish with him. Yeah. Dude, the strong the fish is so strong. Jesus. I put my drag any tighter, it'll fucking break. <sighs> Every time I fucking gain, it's a good fish. Yeah. This is a strong one. Usually, you know how like they give up. I think you're just out of practice. It might this be really that your too. First time out this year. Right? It, it kind of is. You had that first shot at him. I should have. Come on, Charlie. Oh, that's a good one. Nice job, Chris. All right. Nice. Nice one. Ready? Yeah. Hoist. <gasps> that's a good one. That's a good one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a fatty. Hey. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, man. All right, back when she goes. Without your boat to grip thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like I, to keep my scale. I, I, I did that once. <laughs> Oops. Go ahead. It's all wrapped up. That, that's a big one. I think so. <clears throat> big head shake. Wow, strong. They're all strong. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one knocked slack in it. That was awesome. Oh. Just like landed a smallmouth. Small fish, but strong. Yeah. Come on. Wow, he really ate it. Buddy, I'm gonna help you. <sighs> really? <laughs> I got that on film too. I'm gonna have to cut this one. I choked it. Choked it? Yep. All right, buddy. Oh, you made fun of my leader. That thing's like 17 feet long. Look at that. That's...
busted lip. Somebody else has hooked down his throat. Oh, got hooked. Can you get it out or no? No, it's gone. Gone, gone? Gone, gone. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Nice one, Bubba. She gone. Gone. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Next Drift. You know, Chris and I had such a great time out here. There's so many big fish. The Hudson River has just so much to offer. I hope I get a chance to get up here again real soon, and uh, maybe we can break the 50-pound mark. We really appreciate you watching. As always, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. This was a great way to kick off 2023. Take care, everybody.